Well, Happy New Year! I'm posting this on New Year's Day, so we are officially on 2022. So today I'm going to be showing you some more of my easy, basic meals for maximum weight loss. These are some of my standard meals that I eat all the time, so let's get started. Hi, Debbie Chu here from Chew on Vegan and welcome back to my kitchen. If you're new here, I'm a plant-based RN and I've been following the Start Solution since January of 2020. If you'd like more information on the Start Solution, I will leave a link to Dr. John McDougall's book, The Start Solution, in the description box below. I highly recommend that you read the book. It gives a lot of insight into the science behind the Start Solution and why it works so well. And on my channel, you're gonna find whole food plant-based recipes, no oil, gluten-free, super easy to make. So if that all sounds good to you, please subscribe and make sure you hit that notification bell so you're notified every time I upload a video, which is every Tuesday and Saturday. And be sure to follow me on Instagram, at ChewOnVegan. And if you're new to this way of eating or just feel like you need some more support, I started a Facebook group uh, just about a year ago and there you will find recipes, photos, inspiration, and best of all, support. I will leave a link to that in the description box below, and I hope you join us. In the beginning of the video, I just showed for a few seconds my breakfast this morning, which were uh, hash browns with some red peppers, green peppers, and some onions. And that is one of my staple meals. I eat that quite a bit and I love to mix veggies with my potatoes. It's a great way to get your 50-50 plate in. And if you don't know what I'm talking about when I talk about the 50-50 plate, all that is is that you're dividing your plate in half visually, and half of your plate you add non-starchy vegetables, and the other half you add starches. And you just divide your plate that way, you build your plate that way each meal, and then you eat to your comfortably full. If you want seconds, you build it the exact same way, half and half. Very simple. So today's gonna be just showing you a few things I like to do to get ready for the week. Some things I'm gonna prep. Um, I'm gonna be making a couple of recipes for you, all very quick and easy. So let's get started. So I'm gonna start off with just prepping some sweet potatoes. I've got a couple hannah yams and some Japanese sweet potatoes. I just like to have these on hand during the week. And then I just cut the ends off. I learned this trick from Chef AJ, so you don't have to poke holes. You can just cut the ends off and the steam will escape that way. And Santa brought me a new knife, which I'm super excited about, so I won't have to struggle so much cutting things. And I got a brand new knife sharpener. So if you haven't tried Japanese sweet potatoes, you have to, they are, wonderful they're so yummy and they don't get all mushy like the standard orange sweet potato which after you have a Japanese sweet potato it's really hard to go back to the uh, orange sweet potatoes and I love the Hannah yams because I just think they are so sweet and delicious that they're almost like a dessert so I'm gonna put these in the oven at 375 and I like to cook them for 45 minutes to an hour. These will probably take 45 because they're smaller, but these might take an hour. And then um, I'll just let them cool completely and leave them in the fridge. And then I've got sweet potatoes whenever I need them. Here's another super quick and easy lunch or dinner that you can do. I love this one. I just have some baby Yukon Gold potatoes and I'm just gonna cut them in half. And then I'm just gonna throw them in this bowl here. Then I just want to season them up with a little garlic powder, onion powder, and some smoked paprika. You can use any combination of spices that you like. These are my favorites. I use it all the time. And then I just mix it up. And then I just throw them in an air fryer basket. And I will air fry these for 20 minutes on about 390, shaking halfway through. 
And what I like to eat with the potatoes is a California blend. These are frozen. This is broccoli, carrots, and cauliflower. I always have a bag or two of this in the freezer. And I'm just gonna put this in a bowl with a little bit of water, and I'm just gonna microwave it for three to four minutes. And then these are gonna go great with the potatoes. So when the veggies come out of the microwave, I drain off any extra liquid. And then I just put some onion powder, garlic powder, and nutritional yeast. And then just give it a good stir. If you want to add salt, that's fine. Now is the time. And this was a one pound package of frozen veggies. So here's my 50-50 plate. As you can see, I used just about all of those veggies. I've got a little bit left over for another little meal or snack. And then I've got some potatoes left over as well that I'll just store in the fridge. And what I like to put on this, you could put ketchup, but I love Date Lady barbecue sauce. You don't get much simpler than that. And we've got our starch and our non-starchy vegetables. And I like to start with my non-starchy vegetables first. That way I'm filling up on the lower calorie density foods. And then I eat my starches after that. And you just wanna to eat to your comfortably full, not to your stuffed, but just comfortably full. And that's different for all of us. Now some people could eat more than this, or other people are like, oh my gosh, that's so much food. But for me, that this is a serving. This is a normal serving for me. Next up is a creamy garlic chickpea soup. This is amazing. So we're gonna use two cans of chickpeas. One we're going to just rinse and drain. And then this one, I'm going to put it in my Vitamix with the liquid and blend it up. So that's gonna make this super creamy. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that first and then I'm gonna show you how you put this all together. So we're using the Instant Pot today and you can make this on the stove or in your slow cooker, it's exactly the same. For your slow cooker, you could probably do it four hours on high and it should be fine. On top of the stove, you just wanna make sure your potatoes are cooked, so probably 25 minutes. So Instant Pot is on saute. I've got a little bit of water in here, about a quarter cup. And since this is a creamy garlic, we're gonna use about three cloves of garlic in there. And then I used my groovy little chopper for my onions and carrots because I wanted them to be small and all uniform sizes. If you don't have a chopper, you can use a knife, of course, and chop them evenly. Uh, but I do have a link to this chopper uh, in the description box. Uh, it's super handy, I love it. So we're gonna add the onions, carrots, and garlic and let these saute for a few minutes. Okay, I've turned the saute feature off. Still a little steamy there. And then we're gonna add the rest of our ingredients. I've got about two cups of a chopped Yukon Gold potato. You can use whatever kind of potato you want. Um, it's probably about one large potato. And then I've got one can of garbanzo beans that are rinsed and drained. And I've got my spices, which are rosemary, thyme, and some paprika, smoked paprika. Then I will add my blended chickpeas. Then we're gonna add two cups of veggie broth. I'm using no chicken veggie broth. Give this a real good stir. Make sure everything is mixed well. And then we're going to pressure cook this on manual for 15 minutes and then do a quick release. So here's the soup and it will thicken as it cools. But what I like to do right now is to add my greens because I love adding greens to everything, as you know. And here's a combo of baby kale and baby spinach. 
and I will just stir this in. I'll put the lid back on and just let it sit for mm, about five minutes. Just let it wilt a bit. And then, um, then you need to taste it, see if you need to adjust the spices. I added about a half a teaspoon of salt because it just depends on the salt content in your broth or in your garbanzo beans. I had one can that was no salt and then one that was just regular and then my broth was pretty low sodium. So we'll let this sit for about five minutes and then we'll give it a taste. So another delicious soup. I love having leftovers and now I have soup for lunch tomorrow at work. I have some for dinner tonight. I probably have lunches for a couple of days and this is so healthy, full of fiber. I love adding the greens, as you know, and I highly encourage you to add greens wherever you can. It really boosts up the nutrients, the fiber, and we all need fiber. So give this a taste. See that with the chickpeas, the carrots, and the greens, and it's, it's already thickening up a bit just as it cools. And that's gonna happen. Mm. But it's creamy without adding any cashews or plant milk. Um, and so it's very low calorie dense and very low fat. One more bite. So 2022 is off to a great start. We've got some great low calorie density meals for maximum weight loss and this year is going to be great and remember that all my recipes are good for you they're good for the animals and they're good for the planet and what you put on your plate determines your fate and your weight until next time thank you so remember i wish i could remember like yeah i'm not gonna be able to do it so right now i've got my instant pot on saute or I will.